Hi guys, so I recently covered a story that affects hundreds of thousands of people in the UK who are EU citizens. So there seems to be some good news as it appears EU citizens who are now in the UK but missed the deadline to complete their applications to the EU settlement scheme will not face the immediate loss of their rights. Boris Johnson's government made an announcement a few days ago that EU nationals who applied for settled status even after the 30th of June deadline will have their rights protected. This was something that was promised but appeared to have been a promise broken when thousands of EU citizens received notification for deportation from the Home Office. So just to refresh, EU citizens who were living in Britain before the 31st of December last year had until the 30th of June this year to apply for the new regime that would allow them to carry forward their rights after Britain left the European Union. Over 6 million people applied before the deadline. This is from data released by the Home Office. Of those 6 million, 5.6 were granted right to reside in the UK and another 2.3 million were granted pre-settled status. Pre-settled is a legal status that would become full later on. This was part of the withdrawal agreement signed by both Boris Johnson's government and the EU back in 2019 and it contained wording protecting EU citizens until their claims were processed or while an appeal was made. The government hailed it as a huge success, considering the numbers involved and the relative short time frame to process all the applications. However, as I spoke in the other video, things were not going as smoothly for some people who had applied either before the deadline or just after it. Some EU citizens started to receive directions for deportation, Many attempted to challenge this but found themselves facing a wall of silence from the Home Office. Many of these people had previously been told they were protected. Now they were receiving letters from Priti Patel's department telling them that they had to get ready to leave the country. This resulted in pressure being put on EU member states to hold meetings with the UK via the European Commission. There was serious concern within the EU that its citizens were likely to lose their rights. The Commission said that there were issues with how the UK was interpreting the withdrawal agreement when it came to these protections. The House of Lords European Affairs Committee found about 2% of all settled status applications were submitted by people over 65 years. And this raised concern about how some older and perhaps vulnerable groups would not have had the ability to fully understand their rights. Charities and other organisations reached out to long-term residents in the UK and assisted them in understanding their rights and making sure that their applications had been in or completed correctly. The government's decision to recognise those who submitted applications after the 30th of June while meriting them with protection under the law was welcomed by both charities and citizens' rights groups. It thankfully removed a sword of Damocles over the heads of those who risked losing their right to work, right to accommodation and eventually seeing themselves deported. So what caused Boris Johnson's government to do a U-turn here? Was it, as it was originally thought, just a clerical error at the Home Office? Was it part of the toxic environment facing a backlash? Or did something happen between the European Union and the UK that we don't know about? Anyway, finally we have some good news embedded in this Brexit mess. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.